Since the launch of Petfood Worldwide, consumers have been asking questions about companies and who they can trust. The Talk To Us campaign is a campaign to help consumers with this question. What companies are making more species-appropriate foods commercially? Who are these companies? How are they making their foods? Most often, pet foods are made in total secrecy. It's time to lift that veil. I first met Darwin's back in 2012, when I was filming with Dr. Royal for Petfold. Frustrated by the lack of fresh prescription diets on the market, Dr. Royal set out to hire a company to help her develop a raw prescription diet for her clients with certain medical needs in a food. She chose to work with Darwin's in Seattle to fulfill this goal. And the prescription diet was eventually launched, giving veterinarians a fresh food alternative to dry prescription diets that have dominated the market for decades. I revisited Darwin's in June of 2017 to speak to them for the Talk To Us campaign about how their products are made. So we're here at the Darwin's facility in Seattle. They've allowed us in in order to show you um, on the consumer side what's taking place inside a manufacturing plant. How is the food made? What's the process? What's the starting process? What's the end process? What's everything in between? So I'm excited and here we go. At the Darwin's facility, everything starts off at the vegetable station. This is where we grind our vegetables. Uh, called the bowl cutter. It's like a giant cuisine art. Both root vegetables and green leafy vegetables are blended into a couscous type texture. Then, meat and bones, along with bone related meats, are properly weighed to meet the formula requirements. All meats are sprayed with bacteriophages. Bacteriophages are viruses that target specific bacteria like Salmonella, Listeria, and E. coli, reducing their presence in raw pet food. When it comes to raw pet food, phages present an opportunity to use natural bacteria control. Everything is then blended together in this blender, which actually grinds the meats twice to ensure that the bones are ground properly. Vitamins and minerals are then added into a mixing machine, which will then mix the appropriate minerals needed into the foods in order for the foods to be balanced. So I've been told that it takes around five minutes in order to blend everything together to make sure everything has the correct consistency needed before moving on to the next step. After blending, the final balanced product is taken to a package area. The final product is sealed, stamped with the date of manufacturing and lot number. It then goes through a metal detector, just in case, since all of the foods are made with metal machinery. It's crated and then taken to the freezer area. Darwin's is a direct-to-consumer product, meaning they don't sell in stores. They ship everything from their warehouse directly to the consumer. 
Now, to get raw food from this point to a customer's home in, let's say, Southern California, right. how are you keeping it frozen? So, uh, we, we tip, depending on the distance, we put dry ice in it. If it's, if, if it's uh, cold weather in one day, we, we wouldn't need to put any cool in there, it would stay cold. But for Southern California, certainly as the summer approaches, we would add dry ice to it, and we, we figured out over, over time how much dry ice we have to put in. And that, that keeps it cold. Uh, our, our intention is that the, the, uh, the dry ice should be gone, but the product should still be frozen by the time the customer receives it. I will say the nice thing that I was able to see inside the facility is how controlled the environment is. Uh, the four stations? Yep, four stations. Uh, we, we the, the vegetable chopping, the meat grinding, the mixing of everything together, and then finally the packaging. So the process goes pretty quickly, so that, that uh, there's very little time for, uh, 